Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Welcome back to my channel, my loverlies. If you've never been here before, thank you so much for clicking on my video. I do so hope that you will like and subscribe before you leave. Become part of the mama family. You know you want to be here. I want you here. We're going to have fun. We're going to have a good time together. Mama's got your back, at least when makeup's concerned. Anyway, today is going to be my first dupes video. Guys, I'm so, so excited about this. I have been wanting to do a video like this for forever. Um, but I really couldn't come up with anything that was, you know, original because it's YouTube and everything's been done before. Uh, and I didn't want to do dupes that everybody and their mom has done before already. Uh, so I really kind of took my time. And there's not a ton of dupes in this video, uh, but, I, the, but there are a few. So we're mainly going to focus on eyes and lips, but I've got some good ones. Uh, so first of which being not really a dupes, but I think it's like a battle of the affordable brands. Uh, so for the eyes, we have this Technique palette. This is the Technique Trend Setter uh, Pressed Pigment Palette stunning 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 palette beautiful warm tones You've got pops of blue and teal there's a little bit of purple in there really really beautiful perfect everyday palette right and then we have this profusion palette now this is the profusion royal eyes palette uh this is a really really great palette as well Again, you've got yummy, warm neutrals with pops of blue, teal, and purple. I think together these uh, color stories look super, super, super similar. 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 Uh, I just think they're so, like, guys, they're so similar. So we're going to test these out. I'm going to do one on one eye and one on the other. And we're going to see how they perform uh, next to each other. Uh, I love both of these brands. They're both super, super affordable. I will say that Profusion is a little bit more affordable than the Technique. So I guess the Profusion is the underdog in the story. Um, but they're both pretty much like solid drugstore pricing. So that's what we have. We also have a couple of lip kits. Now this one I'm super, super excited for. I have been wanting to get my hands on the dupe for this for forever. So here I have the Huda Beauty. This is her strobing lip kit. So I got this on sale and I haven't touched it. I've been waiting uh, for the right time to kind of crack her open. Uh, so this is the Huda Beauty lip kit. So you get a lip contour pe pencil, a liquid lipstick, and then a strobing lip gloss. Well, W7 makes almost an exact uh, dupe of uh, an exact dupe of the, the lip kit. So this is the Huda Beauty one, and then this is the W7 one. Now, packaging similar but different enough. The uh, W7 is much bigger. It's a different color. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find them in the same colors. Uh, I think they're both fairly mauvey, so I think they should look similar enough, but really we're just going to focus on a formula and performance. So this is in the shade, what shade is the Huda Beauty one? This one is, oh goodness, uh, I don't know guys, I ordered this so long ago. Oh, Trophy Wife. So the lip pencil is in Trophy Wife, so it's the Trophy Wife set. And then the W7 is mauve over, so it's really, really beautiful, like mauve tones. And again, in here, you get a strobing, like glittery lip gloss, a lip pencil, and a lipstick. So I'm super stoked. I cannot wait to try these out. I'm I'm so excited. Um, and then I have one more dupe. I already have the dupe on my eyes. So can you tell which eyebrow is expensive and which eyebrow is more affordable? Five, four, three, two, one. Put your answer in the comments below. Pause the video. Put your answer in the comments. So on one eyebrow, I have the Milk Makeup Kush uh, Fiber Eyebrow Gel. And on the other, I have the NYX Thicket Fiber Eyebrow Gel. Guys, they're both they're both fantastic. So I have this one in the shade Dub, and then I have this one in the shade Cool Ash Brown. Uh, I will say that the Milk Makeup one is just a little bit warmer. I have the Milk Makeup on this side, so this side is going to be our higher end, and then this side is going to be our drugstore. Can you guys see a difference? Because I'm telling you what, I can hardly see a difference. I'm like looking at myself in the mirror and I can hardly see a difference. I think they both have really fantastic hold, really great color pigment and payoff. They really like hold the hairs and stick them upwards. It, they're both so, so, so nice. I actually got the Milk Makeup one on sale at Burks. I paid, I think I paid six or eight dollars for this. Uh, whereas the NYX Eyebrow 
the gel I get from Walmart and it's pretty affordable. Um, so I'm super happy about both of them. I really, really, really love the NYX Thicket. I use it all the time. Um, I will say that I slightly prefer the Milk Makeup uh, just because I think that it's got, it, the hold is just a little bit better. Um, I really feel like it holds my brows together just a little bit more. But the NYX Thicket is a really, really great option. And as soon as I run out of this, I'll be going back to this in a heartbeat because unless I can find this for $6 again, I really don't see myself loving it enough to pay the full price for it. So there's that. I have eyeshadow primer on my eyelids already. I'm using the NYX Matte, uh, the NYX Matte, the NYX Ultimate Shadow and Liner Primer. It's my favorite eyeshadow primer of the moment. You guys know that I love the Be Believe Beauty one from uh, Dollar General, but I don't have one of those open right now. So I'm just trying to go through this until it's done. I'm trying not to open up multiple tubes of things if I don't have to. So that's what's on my eyes so far. I don't have anything on my face except for a little bit of a like moisturizing primer. I have some of the, I picked this up as well. Uh, this is the W7 Keep It Glassy primer. It's just like an illuminating primer. I just have a little bit of this all over my face. It's giving my face a nice glow, a little bit of a luminosity. Uh, it's got a little bit of like a stick and a tack to it, so it feels like it's kind of ready for foundation. I don't know that I'm going to be doing foundation in this video. Depends on how long I sit here and talk for. Uh, and we're going to ignore the little friend that I have coming in on my nose. I did my teamy green tea detox mask, and my face is probably going to purge for the next couple of days. But then afterwards, my skin is going to be absolutely beautiful and glowing and fresh. And I'll take the couple days of purging for the whole week of beautiful skin that's about to happen. So jumping right into Zim Makeup. Uh, so I said that this side was the higher end and this side was a little bit more affordable. So we'll go with Profusion on this eye and Technique on this eye. Again, they're very, very similar uh, price uh, price range. What? Oh my goodness, I can't even talk today. They're very similar price uh, prices, guys. Uh, but I will say the technique is just a little bit more uh, a little bit more expensive. Uh, and I get can only get this. This is a UK based brand, so I usually pick this up at like TJ Maxx, Marshalls, uh, Burks things like that discount stores uh, but I will say I really 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 love this formula I also really really enjoy the profusion uh, formula as well actually to be fair I picked both of these palettes up at Burks uh, so they were both you know they've both been sitting on the shelf for a while so it's not like I'm using a brand new palette and then a palette that I've gotten uh, from Burks that's been on the shelf for a minute these are both equally as old so they should perform pretty similarly uh, we're going to try and make a super similar eye look. It's not going to be anything special. Guys, these are very, very basic palettes. So I'm just going to go and I'm going to do a super basic eye look. I'm going to go in with my Do Color 03. Let me make sure I have two of these so I can use one for each side. 03, 03. So let's go in with Profusion first. Let's see. Let's get a matching color. So I'm going to try this shade out of the Technique as just a transition color. And then let's try this shade out of the Profusion. They look pretty similar to me. Profusion might be just a little bit deeper. Let's try this one. Okay, those look a little bit more spot on. So I'm gonna go in with this shade from the uh, Profusion palette on a Do Color 03. I'm just going to use this in my transition area and fluff it all over the place. Like I said, this is going to be a super, super basic eye look. I'm just going to kind of do a transition, a crease, a co uh, corner, and a shimmer. But again, Profusion performs really, really beautifully. It goes on nice and creamy. It's buttery. It does exactly what you want a, a transition shade to do. And then taking a separate brush, same style of brush, same exact brush, just a clean one. I'm going to go into the Technique palette and go into that. 
right off the bat, I'm going to say that the, uh, guys, you can already tell on the lid. Uh, this definitely has more pigmentation. Uh, this one is not exactly the same shade, but I barely kind of dipped my brush into that shadow. And it is so much more pigmented. Just fluffing that out all over and then I'm gonna tuck it up underneath my eyebrow. Just using circular buffing motions. Definitely, definitely more pigmented. Uh, they certainly, they swatched pretty similarly, but this one definitely has a warmer undertone. It's more orangey terracotta, whereas the Profusion is more neutral, kind of beigey, but that's okay. We'll add just a little bit more of the Profusion to try to even things out. Just a touch. Okay, whereas the technique is definitely pigmented upon application, the profusion takes just a little bit of blending, but it all depends on personal preference. If you enjoy a wapow, like pigment in your face kind of eyeshadow, I think that you might like the technique better. If you prefer to build and really control your pigmentation, I think that you might like the profusion better. If we're talking about pa uh, packaging for this, uh, for this set in particular, I will say that I like the profusion packaging just a little bit more. But for the most part, the profusion palettes come in packaging very, very similar to this. So that's not really going to be a factor. If we're talking about the... Uh, I don't know. I like the Profusion packaging just a little bit more. Uh, as a whole, like the 10 shadow palettes from Pro Profusion are packaging very, very similar to this. It's plastic. It's black. It's really, really cheap. Uh, it barely does the trick, but it does do the trick. I, would, I will say they are certainly not um, travel-friendly palettes, but that's not something we're quite judging today. Uh, if you want to take that into, you know, if you want to take that uh, into account, uh, then you probably would have to pick a different brand altogether uh, just because neither one of them in my experience has packaging that's really you know fantastic uh let's go into a slightly deeper shade if i'm saying i think i almost let, let's just keep going uh so let's go into a slightly darker shade now i'm going to use a slightly smaller fluffy blending brush i have one from do color and one from profusion so i guess it's might as well use Profusion for Profusion and do color for Technique. Uh, going into the Profusion palette first, uh, let's take, let's take, let's go slightly deeper. Let's take, trying to find one that's fairly similar. Let's go into this bricky color right here. It's kind of warm, bricky terracotta color. And we'll take this right into the crease and kind of blend and fluff that out. I will say the Profusion palette definitely has more mattes than the Technique palette does. Uh, Profusion palette is very, very matte heavy, whereas the Technique palette is very, very shimmer heavy. So if you prefer a shimmer formula, again, Technique is probably going to be your go-to. But if you're like me, and like to build with mattes and accentuate with shimmers, you're probably going to enjoy the Profusion a little bit more. Just kind of building up that really beautiful terracotta bricky color just in the crease. Really working that in. It's blending really beautifully. Doing exactly what I want it to do. It is taking just a little bit more effort. To get it to blend out and spread the way that I want it to. But 
but it is working. Really pretty. I actually really, really enjoy that color. I think it's really, really nice. No harsh lines. Everything's really soft. That's pretty. So let's go into the Technique palette. Uh, we're going to switch brushes. Let's put this one over here. We'll switch brushes and go into the Dew Color one. So I used that really beautiful, warm kind of terracotta color. So I'm going to go into this one from the Technique palette, which is the closest one I can see. And we'll take this again, super, super pigmented, even upon application. Just kind of blending this out in the crease, fluffing it out using circular buffing motions. Keeping everything nice and high on the outer corner. I'm going for a slight cat eye effect. Trying to give my eyes a little bit of that almond shape. Just like that. I will say I feel like the Technique formula blends out just a little bit easier and a little bit faster than the Profusion. It definitely is more pigmented and doesn't need quite as much building. As the Profusion. And I'm really enjoying the rich, saturated color payoff. I'm going to go back in with that first brush and just kind of marry everything together one more time. Really, really pretty. I'm going to do the same thing with the Profusion side. And voila. Uh, definitely richer pigmentation on the Technique side. I will say that the Profusion is soft. Uh, it is, uh, it's it's just softer. It's a bit more romantic, uh, whereas the Technique is much more in your face, bold pigmentation. I like them both so far. Let's find something just a little bit deeper to pop uh, right onto the outer corner. So for the Profusion side, let's go in to, I don't see, one of the things I don't like is that there is no like really rich, deep, um, like chocolatey brown color. Uh, whereas in the Technique palette, there is, there's this really beautiful, rich, dark brown cocoa shade uh, that I wish the Profusion palette had. Uh, they both have a matte black, but I don't know that I want to go um, so harsh as a matte black. I guess I'll have to though, because it's the only shade they both have in common. Uh, so let's go into an even smaller brush because we're going to do some precise uh, outer corner blending. I'm going to use, I want to try to find two brushes that are similar as I can make them. Okay, so we'll use one Dew Color brush and one BH Cosmetics brush. We'll use uh, Dew Color for Profusion and BH for Technique will go into Profusion first and we'll just dip into this matte black. I'm going to take the smallest amount of it though because again it's going to be super super harsh and all I want is a little bit of depth on my outer corner. And I'm really just going to focus this right on the outer edge of my lid. And only bring it about a third of the way through my crease. Just like that. Just giving a little bit of added depth to the situation. That's actually really pretty. Uh, that matte black is nice. It's nicely pigmented, but it's not too much. A lot of times with a matte black, they can be a little bit sticky. And what I mean by sticky is when you set them down, they don't want to move. Uh, sometimes they can they can tend to be a little bit patchy. 
and just stick where you set them down is where they want to stay. I'm not having that problem with this black, which is really, really nice. It's really blending out and moving and spreading exactly the way that I want it to. I'm going to go back in to that nice big fluffy brush and take a little bit more of that bricky color from the Profusion palette. And I'm just going to lightly go over everything one more time. Make sure everything's nice and married together. And there are no harsh, harsh lines. Just like that. But now we have just that little bit of extra depth on the outer corner to really make our eyes look nice and deep. I'm going to do the same thing with the Technique palette. I'm going to dip this BH brush into this matte black right here. We're going to use just a teeny tiny bit of it. And apply that right on the outer V. Right up front, I can tell you that the technique, again, is more pigmented. It's a much richer shade of black. But it is moving well. It's doing exactly what I want it to do. It's spreading and stretching across the lid. It's not patching or sticking. Which is nice. I will say in the case of this one. I use the tiniest amount of that black and there's so much more uh, pigmentation. I will say just for this application, I prefer the Profusion Black uh, to the Technique one uh, just because it is so, so inky and it just looks a bit harsh for this application. But I'm going to go in with that Do Color brush and just kind of blend it out and marry it in with that richer terracotta and kind of mellow it out a little bit so it's not quite so harsh. That is definitely, definitely a deep, rich, intensely pigmented matte black eyeshadow though. I really enjoy it. For this application, I prefer the Profusion just because it's softer, uh, but this is a really, really nice matte black shadow. I'm actually gonna dip back into the Technique palette and get a little bit more of that rich terracotta color and try to tone this down just a touch. And kind of bring it through the crease. I will say it's trying to stick just a little bit on this outer corner. It's not wanting to move as much as I would like it to. It's just kind of set down and not really wanting to do much of anything. This is one of those occasions where you really just have to take your time and blend everything out and really work with the eyeshadow. We got it there in the end. I will say, uh, if we're going to talk about fallout, uh, I do have quite a bit of black fallout from the Technique side, whereas the Profusion side, I barely have any. So if that bothers you, definitely something to take into account. Uh, I feel like the Profusion shadows stuck to the brush better and really kind of moved better, whereas the Technique shadows I find to be just a little bit stickier. Um, they really want to stick where you set them down, uh, and they don't really want to move too awful much. Uh, so I feel like the Technique formula is better for packing, uh, whereas the Profusion formula is better for blending. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe and clean up. A little bit of this fallout just because fallout fallout drives me absolutely bonkers. Just gonna take a cheap cheapy off brand makeup wipe and clean a little bit of that black fallout up. It cleaned up really easily. Okay, so that's what we got from the 
technique side. And that is what we got from the profusion side. So I guess Fallout was actually pretty similar, uh, but because the technique shadows are so much more richly pigmented, I could just see that a little bit better. But we had a good amount of Fallout from both sides. Let's go in with a beautiful all over lid shimmer now. So I think I'm definitely going to use uh, one of the blue shades. Uh, there is two really beautiful matte teals and then two really beautiful kind of like purpley shimmers. So I think that's what we'll do. We'll take a flat packing brush. If I can find one, let's take these elf smudger brushes. And these pro these. Okay. So we'll take a, I have two of these. So this is the Dew Color 08. It is just a, oh, under my nails are dirty. I just got done making dinner. I swear. Okay. So this is a kind of like a flat shader. So this is the Dew Color 08. I have two of those. I'm going to take one for each side. Let's go into Profusion first. And we'll go into this matte teal color since there is one in each palette picks up really nicely on the brush. Let's take a little bit of this teal color and pack that right onto the inner corner. Oh, this is beautiful. Really, really beautiful color. I love that like turquoisey color. So, so beautiful. Pack that right on the inner corner and the inner portion of the lid from lash line up to the crease. We'll do that on both sides, taking a separate brush and going into the shade from the Technique palette. Again, picks up really, really well on the brush. Beautifully jewel toned. This one is just a little bit darker and moodier than the one in the Profusion palette, but I find that the Technique palette is just a little bit moodier in general. about halfway through the inner portion. Of the lid, I find that they both have a really, really beautiful lay down. Nice and opaque, no patchiness. I like that, I like that. Switching over to the other brush and I'm gonna go back in to the Profusion. If I'm having to pick a color, I prefer the color of the Profusion one, just a little bit more. It's lighter and brighter and just a little bit happier uh, than the Technique one. So now let's go on to those e.l.f. shader brushes that I have, two of the same exact brush, and there is a, there's a nice deep uh, kind of like metallic purple in both uh, palettes. So we'll go into the Technique one first. Nice pickup on the brush. Let's pack this on the outer portion of the lid and blend this into the turquoise. That's a really, really beautiful metallic purple. Just taking it right up to the lid, but no higher, right up to the crease, but no higher. We're gonna leave our crease nice, nice and neutral. 
it's gone on very, very evenly. I don't see any patching. It's nice and opaque. It's got kind of like a nice uh, satiny sheen to it. Really, really beautiful. Uh, going into the Profusion palette now, we're going to go into... Uh, let's go into the shade right here. So it is a metallic purple. Going in with the e.l.f. shader brush. Pick up on the Profusion. Shade is not as good as it was in the Technique palette. Pigmentation is not as great either. I'll definitely have to say that the Technique palette definitely takes it for this color. I know purples are notoriously difficult to formulate, which is why I picked this shade. But the Profusion shade is just not quite as pigmented it's just a little bit patchy it's not quite as opaque as i was hoping for it to be i'm definitely having to dip back into the palette a lot more and i feel like i'm getting quite a bit of fallout with this shadow Yeah, quite a bit of fallout with this shadow. I have barely any over here. Overall, the look is super, super similar. But I think that the purple on the Technique side definitely has it. I'm going to go back into that first fluffy blending brush I used for both sides. And I'm just going to take this through the crease. And clean that up just a little bit. So that was the Technique side. This is the Profusion side. So there you have it. Uh, super similar, but definitely different. Uh, all in all, I would say that I prefer the Technique side just because uh, the shadows are just overall, they're more pigmented. Um, they do take a little bit longer to blend out, uh, but I'm okay with that. I'm okay with blending uh, as long as I can get the pigment. <clears throat> as long as I can get the pigmentation that I'm really looking for. Uh, the shimmers in this palette were a little bit, uh, in the Profusion palette, <clears throat> were a little bit disappointing. Though I like this turquoise shade a lot. I think it's really, really beautiful. I've never had any kind of problems with the Profusion matte shades. I find that this, uh, the shimmers are sometimes a little bit lackluster. Uh, yeah, so I definitely prefer the Technique side when it comes to that respect. I also like the tones in the Technique palette just a little bit more. Again, they're just a little bit moodier. They're a little bit darker and more intense. I'm going to take our wipe and clean up under my eyes one more time. So this is the Technique, shot, technique <laughs> side, and that's the fallout that we got. Let's go under the profusion side and see what's going on. And this is the fallout for the technique side. Definitely more fallout on the technique side or um, on the profusion side than the technique side. So that was the technique and that was the profusion. So definitely more fallout uh, with the shimmer shades, which is sad. Let's do a little bit of a highlight shade now. Uh, I'm going to go in with a just a pencil brush from Shop Miss A. This is the E124. And in the Technique side, there is just a really beautiful light champagne color. It's the lightest shade in the palette. We'll go in with that one first. Put just a little bit directly underneath the highest arch of the brow. Really beautiful, nice reflective uh, qualities to it. Let's put a little bit 
on the inner corner as well. Wow, that's impressive. That's not wet or anything. It's just on a dry brush. That is super, super beautiful. Really, really impressive. I like that quite a bit. I'm going to take the same brush, just a clean version, and we'll go into the Profusion palette. And again, we'll go into the lightest shimmer shade in the palette, which is this one. And do the same thing, right? Directly under the brow bone. That is really beautiful as well, nicely reflective. And then we'll take a little bit on the inner corner. Very, very pretty. Uh, very, very pretty. I will say that the... Technique Shadow maybe glows just a little bit more. But I will say that the Profusion... color is a little bit smoother and a little bit more satiny and not quite as texture enhancing. So there is that. Uh, for the lower lash line, let's go back into those uh, shader brushes, the e.l.f. shader brushes. Let's clean them both off on my towel here. Profusion. Technique. And then we'll go back in to that first transition color that we used. So for the profusion, and we'll bring just a little bit of this color right underneath the eye. Just to get a little bit of color going on. And then going back in to the Technique palette, we'll go back in to that transition color and just bring a little bit of that underneath the eye as well. Really, really pretty. I do still quite enjoy the uh, technique side a little bit more. Let's take our finger and let's go into, let's go back into that same kind of highlight shade and put just a little bit right into the center of the eye. Just for a little bit of a spotlight effect and to kind of brighten up that eye look. Just a little bit. Let's bring a little bit of light back into the eye. I'm gonna clean my fingers off and go back separate hand. Gonna go into the same shade that we used as a highlight in the Profusion palette and do the same thing. Just kind of tapping that on right over where the two shades meet and just kind of bringing that up to the crease. Just kind of tapping that on and then blending it out with a clean finger. Really, really pretty. They look super, super similar. They look very, very similar. Both of the shimmer shadows look really, really beautiful. Which one do you enjoy better? Which one do you think has a higher shine? Let me know in the comments below. I also have a, a battle of eyeliner. I'm super excited about this. I was at Burke's the other day and I happened upon a really, really expensive eyeliner. So this is the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade, I think it's Noir, uh, Black War. So this is the Marc Jacobs highlighter in the shade Black War. And then I have this. This is the Milani Super Cole Kajal eyeliner crayon. So this is just in the shade Black. It is 
This is my absolute favorite, uh, favorite, favorite black eyeliner, eyeliner of all time. We're going to verse these two together. Uh, so packaging, very, very different. I, you can tell that the Marc Jacobs is more expensive. It just looks more expensive. Uh, it's just a little bit heavier. It feels like it might be a little bit, you know, better, made, well made. Um, but then the Milani, guys, it's just, it's just a really, really great, uh, you know, to the point, black eyeliner. So again, we'll use the Marc Jacobs on the technique side, and I'm going to line both of my water lines. Upper. And lower. So that was the Marc Jacobs. Nice pigmentation. And then let's go in with the Milani on the Profusion side. Line. The upper water line. and the lower. I can already tell you which one I like better, um, but you guys let me know in the comments below which eyeliner do you think performed the best? Which one do you think has the richest pigmentation? So there's that. Moving right, uh, right along. Let's move along. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it moving, babes. So moving on to the lip kits. Clean up my bat wings just a little bit. And we will start with the Huda Beauty. So first I will go in and I will line with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour Pencil. This is in the shade Trophy Wife. Super creamy, effortless to use. Oh, wow. That is, that is nice. That is a very, very nice, very, very nice, um, lip pencil. Wow. That's just about the easiest, easiest lip pencil I think I've ever used. It just, it basically put itself on. Wow. That's amazing. So let's go in with the W7, uh, version. Now this is the Mega Matte Lip Liner in the shade Mauve. Uh, so whereas the Huda Beauty... They're both wooden pencils, uh, but this is just like an old, the W7 is like an old school wooden pencil, whereas the Huda Beauty has got that more of like a plasticky kind of wooden applicator. This is just OG straight up wood pencil. Right off the bat, it's not as pigmented. Formula is much stiffer. I'm definitely having to press um, the pencil into my lip a, a lot harder um, to really press the pigment onto my lips and still am not getting anywhere near the color payoff uh, that I got from the Huda Beauty side. I will say because the pencil is nice and stiff, it is letting, letting me be super, super precise. So that's a point in favor of the W7. Uh, but overall, I believe that I prefer the Huda Beauty Pencil. 
So now going into the lipstick portion. So unfortunately, I have two different lipstick formulas. Uh, so one is a bullet lipstick and one is a liquid lipstick. I tried, I tried, but these are the way that the kits come. Uh, and I really wanted to test the kits out against each other. So we'll go in with the Huda Beauty first. This is the Huda Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick uh, in the shade Trophy Wife again. Super teeny tiny little applicator. It smells like straight up paint thinner. Like straight up paint thinner. With like a vanilla cake undertone to it but I will say that, that color is insane uh super super pigmented really creamy uh it feels pretty comfortable so far but it hasn't dried down yet I definitely am getting more of that like vanilla cake batter taste uh now but upon application it smelt like straight up paint thinner not my favorite um I'm still kind of getting that kind of smell slash taste uh, to it. So I'm hoping that that goes away as it dries down. Uh, but for the W7 formula, we have the uh, Lippy Chic uh, Ultra Cream Lipstick. This is in the shade Mauve. Packaging is actually really nice. It's got like a soft touch matte packaging. And then that is what the bullet looks like. Super creamy. Okay, so right off the bat, I will say that the Huda Beauty uh, color is a little bit warmer. Uh, it's got more of like a berry tone to it, whereas the uh, W7 is cooler. It's got more of that like frosty purple kind of uh, tone to it. I enjoy both colors, um, but I feel like the W7 is what I would more classically call a mauve uh, in my definition of a mauve anyway. Um, I feel like the Huda Beauty is a bit more... Uh, like berry toned. It's got a bit more of a berry undertone to it, uh, but they're both super, super comfortable. Uh, the The Huda Beauty is pretty much dried down and I can't tell that there's anything on my lips. So the Huda Beauty is a really, really comfortable formula, but the W7 feels really nice and moisturizing. It's super soft and buttery and like luscious on the lips. It feels really, really nice. Doesn't really have a taste or a smell to it either, which I appreciate. Uh, the smell, like that paint thinner smell has gone away from the Huda Beauty side. And it just, I'm just getting that like vanilla cupcake kind of scent now, which I'm enjoying. So last but not least, let's move on to the lip gloss. So for the Huda Beauty side, we have the Huda Beauty Lip Strobe in the shade Shameless. This is really, really beautiful. I really like the applicator. It's slightly slanted, so it tells me that it's really going to hug the contour of my lip. Really thick. Super, super thick kind of um boy that's pretty so it's super super it's oh it's shiny again it's got that kind of like cake vanilla e kind of flavor to it scent to it but it is super super shiny Guys, this lipstick feels like it is not going to go anywhere. It's not going to, not the lipstick, but the lip gloss is like nice and sticky, but it's not like super heavy where it's uncomfortable. I don't feel like it's going to like migrate a ton on me. This is one of those lipsticks that you'll have to watch the corner of your mouth because I feel like it's one of those lips, uh, lip glosses that might want to kind of pull at the corners of your mouth just a little bit. Yeah, it's already starting to do it just a touch. Just kind of wants to pull at the corner of my mouth. So not the biggest fan of that, but it is so multidimensional and the shine to it is insane. Really, really gorgeous. And then for the W7, we have the Glam Gloss. So this is a much, much bigger uh, tube of lip gloss. Uh, this is in the shade Glam Bam. 
This too is a very sparkly, shimmery, shiny. Kind of lip gloss. You do not get a bunch of product on the wand. So I'm really having to like keep going back into the tube to get any kind of gloss on my lip. And then because it's going on over a bullet creamy lipstick instead of a liquid lipstick, it is transferring onto my wand quite a bit. So I'm just going to kind of try to tap that lip gloss onto. Boy, this does not pick up very much lip gloss at all. Okay, that's enough. So upon initial application, I prefer the color of the W7 more. Just for like an everyday mauve kind of look. I prefer that are both really, really beautiful. Can definitely see the line right down the center. They're both really, really beautiful. I will say the W7 lip gloss is a little bit more comfortable uh, than the Huda Beauty. The Huda Beauty is definitely a heavier lip gloss. And I can like taste it. Uh, it's definitely heavier. It's definitely moving around a little bit more. And that's probably just because there's so much more of it on. I could barely get any of the lip gloss onto my lips from the W7 applicator. Not my favorite applicator. I really do like the color of the lip gloss from the W7. Um, I prefer the color of the lip gloss uh, from the Huda Beauty side. So the lip gloss on the Huda Beauty definitely wins. Uh, I like the color of the W7 better, but I think that the Huda Beauty lip gloss kit or the, the lip contouring kit uh, is better altogether. I just like the way that this feels on my lips just a little bit better. I feel like it's going to be longer wearing. I do prefer the way that this kind of like, it's very heavy. The Huda Beauty is very heavy. Uh, this just feels better for like everyday kind of wear. It just feels like more of like an everyday, uh, lipstick just like a lip combo this feels very very comfortable i can definitely feel the huda beauty on my lips more but i think it is much more glam and just very kind of like eye-catching really really beautiful uh as for value i definitely think that the w7 is a better value uh, i think that the huda beauty lip kits are super super expensive um and the packaging is super super similar so if you're just wanting to pick it up because of the packaging the w7 packaging is just as cute it's actually a little bit bigger. I like the color. Um, yeah, so I definitely prefer the W7 lip kit uh, just in gen general over the Huda Beauty. I do think the Huda Beauty is really, really great, great quality. I like that there is a liquid lipstick instead of a bullet lipstick. I like the applicator on the gloss better. I like the color of the gloss a little bit better, but I prefer the color of the lipstick on the W7 side. I hope I haven't uh, <laughs> confused you guys too awful much. In general, I prefer the W7. I do wish that this had a liquid lipstick instead of a bullet lipstick. I think that it would make things a whole lot easier. And I do wish that the applicator was a little bit better on the lip gloss. But overall, really, really beautiful. Both sides are absolutely stunning. So as for the palettes, I prefer the Technique palette to the Profusion palette. I feel like it's got richer pigmentation. I feel like it really went on and did exactly what I wanted it to without me having to work too hard for it. Uh, I did have to build up the Profusion shadows quite a bit and really work with them, and I still feel that I don't have anywhere near the impact on this eye as I do on this eye. As for the uh, eyeliners, guys, I definitely prefer my Milani. Uh, the Marc Jacobs is nice. It's nice to have. It's nice to use. I feel very bougie while I'm using it. Um, but the pigmentation and ease of use with the Milani is just by far and away so much better. Um, I really feel like I have to press this to really get like that nice creamy kind of application. Uh, but with the Milani, it is so effortless. It just kind of goes on. It does exactly what it's supposed to do. Um, and not only that, it's dries down it stays put it doesn't move it doesn't ball up on the inner corner of my eye and I don't find myself having like the raccoon eye effect uh quite as much with the Milani as I do with the Marc Jacobs 
Uh, again, if you're into Marc Jacobs, you're into Marc Jacobs. You like what you like, boo-boo. Uh, this is just my opinion. It definitely does not mean that if you like the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, then you're a bad person. That is not what it means. We are. That is not what it means at all. We are makeup sisters. We are allowed to have different opinions. This is just mine. I definitely prefer the Milani. I prefer the Technique. And I prefer the W7. Guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would like me to do more dupes videos uh, in the future. Or like battles of the brands. Or whatever this was. It was just me kind of versing things against each other. Some were high end and some were not. I really enjoy the look that I came out with all together. Um... I'm really digging my lips, though. I think they're so, so pretty. Uh, I think the eye look is really pretty. Not my best work, uh, but really just kind of working with the color story uh, that we had to work with. I think the eye look came out really, really pretty. I'm not really going to do my skin. We've been here for an hour already, uh, so I am going to let you go. But please know that I love you so, so, so very much. I will have the link to my Facebook page, Make It For The Everyday Mama, in the description box below, along with everything that I used in today's video. I do all kinds of fun content over on my Facebook page. I do lives. I do pictorials all that good stuff and I always post finished pictures over there as well so please click the link below and go check that out if you haven't already make sure you like subscribe and share before you leave guys you have no idea how much I would appreciate a thumbs up because really just let me know let me know if you're liking what I'm doing it would mean the absolute world to me make sure you're subscribed if you're not already I definitely want you to be here you know you want to be here so just come on just come on back next time uh that's about it, guys. I love you so, so very much. Thank you for hanging out with me, and I will see you next time. Until then, stay safe, take care of yourselves, and remember, you're important. Bye.